following is a presentation of TFNN. The Global Market Pulse with your host, John Logan. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, John Logan. Hi guys, welcome back to the show. Hope you guys are having a great Thursday morning. It's Thursday night here in the heart of Asia. We're going to take a look immediately at our scanner. And as we look at this, we're on our daily grid here. We're noticing that the S&Ps are flipping on our heat grid back negative on our intermediate. And the weeklies are starting to balance here. We talked about specifically <clears throat> excuse me specifically that crossover around july or june 4th june 5th on the weekly first time it's happened since october 24th but we talked about possibly sticking with the program getting back negative before friday's close and you know some things are pointing that way folks we've got some negativity in the breath and i want to just re reference charts really quick just kind of go through this first and foremost as we look at our daily and we look at the weekly, we've got 2104 and 2103. Where do those numbers come from? 2104, September contract unfair highs. That's a big, big number. Breath has turned negative during this process. Remember that. Not a lot of consistency or cohesion in what's going on in the internals that build that breath relative to the index itself. And you've got 2103, these daily unfair highs. I know we kind of rattled down there yesterday. We came back. We're back above, but I'm looking at this as a very confused marketplace literally almost on all-time highs again and that's you know just not the type of spring-loaded action you want to kind of get both feet into i mean under normal circumstances i say we're consolidating above profiles here, here above the weekly and daily but the breath is just not coinciding with this staying in line with one of the things steve wrote said it's just you know probably going to be a stock picker's market he kind of called that a while back um, and, you know, that means that it's going to be very difficult, you know, for the leaders of the pack, the leaders of the S&P to really drag this index up in a big way without, you know, Netflix is driving this thing up. There's, you know, the apples and the, the big weighted components. But uh, the rest of the pack is just not really wanting to pay attention to a market that seemingly is going to gravitate around the unfair – the, the highs of the year, actually. So we want to kind of keep all that in mind and focus on, you know, how do we trade this? In my opinion, you're not sitting here, again, trying to take longs above these inflection points, above the profiles like we normally would and use stops below because of this situation right here. We're going to pull up our S&Ps. We're going to go into our breadth charts. You're going to have to ignore this little feature down below. We're putting an actual price chart of the S&P index relative to these breadth historicals. So you can see this right now. And man, I hope that uh, <laughs> Ken and Mike and a couple of other guys at the TFNN network are gonna have this thing wrapped up for you and ready to use. This is our daily, hopefully by tomorrow. How long have I been saying that? Anyway, we've got a bad tick here on this. So kind of ignore this. It's a new feature we're putting in for you guys. But this is something that uh, we're gonna have to pay attention to. Here's the weekly, again, remember, First time we've had a compromisation, uh, had a negative breath turn on, on uh, actually September 26th and then turn around October 24th uh, to positive. We really haven't had that compromise since then. That's what been nine months ago. So uh, a big event's happening right now. We're kind of teetering in my opinion and you got to start looking to sell below 2103. Now you might've said, well, you know, we had a close below 2103 yesterday and we rally back up. This is what stops are for, guys, and this is what it takes to 
to trade on a daily basis, you've got to be willing to take the medicine. You've got to be willing to leverage off of these points. You've got to be willing to say uncle at some point. In my opinion, we rallied a little bit too high already today to stick with that trade. So, again, we're looking for it to come back down below again and turn the rents the same way. If we can close below there like we did yesterday again, I feel like we could look at this as a failed attempt and then start looking at the 2066 areas and even lower, 2060, maybe. So that's the take on the S&Ps. Let's go back into the euro. Kind of a, a situation that's held, which is kind of nice. We talked about trying to leverage off of the 1225 area. We closed below yesterday. We went back and retested, reached 112.34.35. And uh, I still look. Excuse me, I still like this as a short below these 1225 areas. And I'm going to tell you that if you had done that yesterday, we reached some targets on the 240s down below 111.55. But I'm looking for this to head much lower, namely 108.60, excuse me, 108.70, and possibly even a 106.15. So again, stops above 112.25. We may rally. We want to make the pain as light as possible could put the stops in and uh you know as we look at these currencies you they can get away from you so you always want to just make sure you got the stops in no matter what i say so uh i think we've got a caller eddie are you on the phone with us hello okay maybe not we're going to keep moving forward here let's take a look at the end i got it uh, i'm john here i'm john here here hello hello get okay. me in on show please please Okay. How are you today, man? Yes, fine. <laughs> Thank you, John. Um, I tell you what, uh, you know, you and I have been talking about a couple of things. Um, I wanted to just kind of throw these out there for discussion for, you know, the listeners out there. I think they, they value a lot of things that you say. Um, taking a look at the euro, you know, I know we've been talking about this together, but, you know, we're What's your thoughts about this product? I mean, you're in Europe. I mean, you're kind of probably living more the the Greece, Spain, Italy situation more than anybody else. What's what's your thoughts on this technically and possibly fundamentally in the near term? Well, fundamentally, when the fundamentals gets to, to incorporate to the price, you know, cows probably start flying and you know comes home. But uh, technical technical situation, as you know and I know. We've been watching this 120, uh, 112.23 area, and price is below 112.23 area. It's daily highs of the unfair highs, which price closed below that. And the second day in a row, we are kind of finding the highs over there. So on Wednesday, price closed in there, inside of the box, inside of the profile, bounced off from the point of profile. Profile kind of wide, suggesting that the market keeps going, uh, keeps staying inside of profile. There will be some extra volatility. It should be some extra volatility. As you said, we are short on this product unless we get outside of the outside uh, of the supply area, which is um, uh, recent demand, current supply. And uh, we do have already lower lows for the day. And uh, that means uh, today's high has been, uh, been held as a resistance. Uh, today's uh, yesterday's lows was broken by today's lows so looks like we're sitting there the prices that are the opening yesterday's opening so we need to regulate the trade probably not probably likely with a shorter time frame profiles uh, to 40 60 and uh, go from there okay I tell you what something else that uh, you and I have been talking about um, I want to bring this ruble trade up because I mean this is something that you know is pretty you know, no trades are easy, but we try to make as much sense out of them as possible and try to, you know, this is our weekly view. I know you've got a little bit of a delay there. You've recently been in Moscow quite a few times, actually. Um, what's, uh, you still pretty bullish on the ruble USD cross, or what's your, what's your thoughts on this one? Uh, we had some uh, detailed information uh, about uh, ruble having the p potential support areas. I can see you showing the weeklies. If you show the dailies, you 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 have a little bit more information uh, okay. at the area for yeah. Show the dailies, please. Got it. 
Yeah, and we're sitting there with uh, right next in my office uh, with uh, our friend and colleague uh, Vlad, and we've been talking. He's uh, we met him in Russia. He's uh, you know a little bit in longer term. Here you go. See that, Johnny? Uh, those lower lower um, yeah. potential supply areas and dailies. That was an area where we talked uh, uh, to some of the clients, uh, potential clients, to the, some firms that ruble needs to be hedged from there. It was 48 ruble to the dollar, and uh, we just said, yeah, well, let's get it to the top side of the box. And you know that with it, with the bottom of profile held firmly, top will fail. We know that too. So mm -hmm. here we go. Anyway, uh, this, uh, this was a very predictable trade, very predictable play. And we notify that uh, way and take a look what on April 28th, we have this uh, profile form to Drubo. So all this information that we have here, uh, we knew about that potential highs and potential lows where the supply or demand on institutional level for the ruble is on April 28th. So uh, take a look, it's nearly three months later, we still can use that, uh, that phantom so-called mm -hmm. Right. Uh, phantom numbers, uh, phantom supply demand areas. Why are they phantom? They cannot be discovered by any uh, tape reading. That means charts. They are not yet there formed. Like this phantom right now, support area is a uh, recent a recent uh, box lows. As you can see, it's asymmetric box distribution on daily. What asymmetric means when the highest uh, number of trades occurred or the highest activity of that particular time frame, it's close to the support area or to area to the demand or unfair lows. That uh, makes it stronger. It's not guaranteed that this would be support area on a ruble 5240, but that guarantee that if it breaks, that the resistance would become much more stronger and uh, it has a, a higher probability to held because of the un, un, um, asymmetric distribution of the profiles. Anyway, uh, at this point, we do have 5490s, 55 evens for the ruble resistance as uh, our uh, supply demand box uh, offers through there and uh, uh, break above that area and close above that area of 5490 5450 on ruble we would consider a continuation to the higher grounds uh, but uh, ruble is colorated uh, colorated uh, highly to the oil uh, because uh, you know russian revenues right. uh, depends on that so oil oil uh, not uh, to the dollar probably pegged but oil pegged to the ruble which is on on its own uh, a store in there, but if we look at the uh, oil uh, to the dollar rate, so uh, it's also right. if you switch right now to the oil, you can see uh, how nicely oil sits there in a in a in a weekly range profile. So it's in a daily range profile. That's uh, awesome trading opportunities for that trading. That means you know we going nowhere with this right. thing. Uh, I don't know what I don't care what everybody says. News that hey, hey can you hang around? We're gonna take a break and we'll be right back. Okay, Johnny. Thanks. Bye All right, guys. Trade with confidence and clarity while using the software that thousands of institutional traders rely on to make the best and most accurate decisions. Choose from a thousand equities, currencies, and futures instruments utilizing the TAS architecture. As seen on Bloomberg terminals worldwide, the TAS Profile Scanner is a benchmark technical filtering system that thousands of traders rely on, and now you can too. For a limited time for TFNN subscribers only, we've reduced the price to just $97. That's over 75% off. John Logan hosted a special subscriber-only webinar in December, and you'll gain access to that archive as well, so you can learn exactly what the TAS Profile Scanner can do for you. Try this product out. No matter what you trade, the TAS Profile Scanner can help you make more informed trading decisions. There's no obligation to pay anything. Don't let this offer pass you by. Get your 30-day free trial to the TAS Profile Scanner today by signing up at TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high-definition video giving you crystal clear charts as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full fidelity 
quality sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You've always taken the long view when it comes to investing, but what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. Find yours at directionfunds.com. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risk charges, and expenses of Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the Direction Funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. John takes your phone calls now, now. now. toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-445-1044. Hi guys, welcome back to the show. Eddie, are you still with us? John, as long as, as you need, man. Okay, great, great, great. I'll tell you what, um, I want to take a look at a couple of individual stocks. I want to pull up Facebook. Uh, obviously, pretty big rally past couple of days. This is our weekly view, 79.27. I've talked about this, in fact, yesterday, the day before. Uh, wow. We're going to take a look at our, da yeah, our daily view here. So, what's, <laughs> what's the first thing that comes to your mind? I know what the first thing that comes to my mind when I see a chart like this is, trying to block out one side of the market one way or the other what what do you think when you when you see something like this because a lot of people out there Eddie may be thinking it might be time to buy it might be time to sell what's your thoughts when you have a runaway freight train like this first of all when it comes to the Facebook first time in my uh, first thing that would comes to my mind to delete all my pictures and all my profile stuff uh, from the <laughs> Facebook but it's unsuccessful you know they keep holding right. that for some reason you know it's like um, whatever so that's yeah. why it's coming up. I cannot delete my stuff, and you know, and uh, I, probably anybody yeah, else as well. So <laughs> yeah, on that on that same note, I mean, you know, this is for all intents and purposes like a, a cloud service, if you will, for somebody to throw all their, you know, for the most part, personal information up on a server that you don't even know where it's at and you have no control over it that you they they give you the illusion that you have some control by giving you a password that people can break and people can copy and you can put um key loggers on people's machines and and that's just from the user standpoint not to mention the hacker standpoint in the in cyberspace uh 
you know that's just that's just really weird man that you said that because it just brings up so many security issues not only with facebook with other companies out there but yeah i'm i'm, I'm hearing what you're saying i mean uh but on the technical side what do you what do you what do you think here <laughs> it's easy e easy easy play john if you want to take some profits use 60 to 40 when profile shows up uh, exactly it's, it's easy to play just to take profits no risk to take shorts right there on the longer right. time frame it just actually shorter term profiles would regulate the trade where you can get in on the on the game you know on the, on the long right. side say 240 profile shows up oh okay so it's a what it's 240 you see that profile shows up like four bars ago six one two three four five yeah. six bars ago that means 24 hours right and the yep. profile is below the chart and you already yep. pointed to your listeners when profile affairs below the chart that means uh, that is uh, indication that market is strong and uh, I'm just gonna explain you why is that uh, okay uh, yeah visual uh, you know uh, we've been uh, doing this I kind of been behind the wheels of creating this stuff so why is that when our timing um, timing first of all that's a very important for the our uh, algorithm to having the timing to uh, uh, to show that profile when the timing right. hits profile appears profile appears but uh, when the timing hits and uh, it runs away real quick because our stuff is not changing when the timing is hits is there it's not rewrites like you know like uh, point and figures or some kind of so it stays right. there. But now our, our our timing says, "Hey, please show that profile right now." And we, we, you know, uh, we need to see what actually the profile is, distribution of the values. Market run away so fast since that time when our algorithm to show, uh, to decide to show profile. Therefore, profile stays where way below. Timing was. Uh, good to show but the market was even faster it broke to another level and therefore when the profile appears it, appear, it appears so called a little bit late it's not late but it's indication that the market it, it ran away from the distribution of the risk of the uh, Pro time frame to be shown decide to show by algorithm that's why profile is lower sometimes or higher when the market is uh, fastly moving right. lower so, so, uh, so that indication is uh, so yeah yeah let yeah, me paraphrase up. let me paraphrase a little bit what you said for the listeners um, you know the, the question being posed really is you know what do you do with this thing um, and Eddie pointed out some really good facts using some of the technology that we have that basically you're not supposed to short this. That's the, the bottom line of everything that he said. And here's the daily. Here's the, the weekly, the daily. There's no new profiles appearing. There's no new signs of any attempts of any new profiles appearing. And we're drilling down even into the 240s and 60s like he spoke of to try to get a bearing on this. And he's pointing out that we had a profile appearing below price action recently. That's bullish. You've got no speed bumps going on the weekly and daily price actions way up here you've got no hints of new profiles appearing so again targets could be looked at when some new 240 profiles start appearing but the, you know the fact of the matter is there's zero reasons to short this thing at this stage uh eddie can you still hang around i've got some questions for you that i hope you can answer after the break my pleasure john i'll be here. great great we'll be right back guys If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. If you're like me, you're always looking for ways to diversify your financial portfolio. Everbank's innovative MarketSafe CD can help you diversify while protecting your principal deposit. In fact, 
Everbank unveiled a new five-year market-safe power metal CD, which combines the power of gold, silver, and copper. Metal prices are currently low, so this CD could really deliver. Consider the facts. You get exposure to three valuable metals in one index CD and have the potential to earn up to 45% capped upside payment at maturity if the metals increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should they decrease? No worries. There's zero risk to your principal here, as you still get 100% of it back. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. No annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest is paid on the CD. Intrigued yet? The July 9th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD for more information, including important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD. Everbank is a member FDIC. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. Eddie, are you still with us? I can't hear you. I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. That's great. Um, you know, I was reading something interesting today. I thought of you because uh, you know, a couple of times that you've been to some big cities, you've tried this, um, you know, Airbnb model. Um, and, and, you know, you got some great deals and it's, it's been very, very cool. Um, it said right today that Ford was jumping into the car sharing market and uh, announce the Airbnb style schemes that you know you can uh, allow. Uh, they'll allow car owners to earn extra money by renting their new vehicles to other drivers. I guess that they're still on payment plans. Obviously, um, I was thinking about you today. Uh, so it's you know that's that's a big deal over here. A lot of folks in in the Philippines buy new cars and then rent them out to tourists on the weekend make a pretty good spread actually but uh, I don't know how good that's going to be for U.S. car owners but uh, what's been your experience on the Airbnb thing when you've tried it? Uh, direct direct John experience yeah. uh, why, yeah. why direct experience Vlad who is visiting here here uh, he found his place to stay in Spain mm -hmm. next to me uh, instead of going through all those renting apartment uh, organizations yeah. and companies and uh, mm -hmm. maybe yeah. he found uh, very price competitive. I actually visited his place yesterday. Uh, very cool and uh, high furniture, high-end stuff, you know, with a very high-end expensive furniture and kitchens and everything else to the detail. Uh, it's uh, three rooms, 
uh, two bedrooms and all everything is there you know wow. uh, for a very competitive price through bnb airbnb so it's like direct direct um, um interaction with these things every time i go to moscow um instead of you know moscow is like japan is a big city lots of you know expensive like uh, hong kong and i don't know uh, hong kong will be probably not that expensive but moscow is very expensive as far as the hotels uh, come, c c comes and it's difficult to find right. it's a, it's a, we used to rent uh, we did rent like hundred dollars apartment hundred dollars per day and we right. get like the three two people in their two rooms apartments you know you know each other you're business associates right. or partners you just it's tremendous saving it's, nice. it, it, it's tremendous savings yeah and you gotta get a lot more work done doing that because you know you're not all disjointed and you know everybody all over the place that's 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 really cool um so what what if i mean i'm just thinking what if here but what if let's just say for instance vlad likes the apartments nice silverware that are that's already there and he decides to take it with him when he leaves like how what's the recourse like what what how do you even solve those issues i mean what, what uh, does they the, are, the, the, uh, yeah it's a good question uh, of course damage or silverware uh, you know or some some stuff right. they it's insured it's insured up to the x amount of dollars i think up to ten thousand dollars by by airbnb company and it's uh, it's done you know and and, and insurance non-payment insurance okay. or no but payment i guess it's you 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 have to pay first uh, you are getting tied up to your facebook uh, okay. you have tied up to your credit card you get tied up to many right. many things so it's it's, right. it's issue what i most okay. like about those two things i always been like you know very frugal about uh, resources it's a resource just think about it hey why you need to you you you, you or i or anybody else come to the city that you don't know and you have to rely on the two or three buildings or five buildings which called the which named the hotel and then say hey, you want to have it there let's pay that price or sorry we don't have the even rooms for you hey and how many thousands of apartments is that or or rooms where to sleep you you know resources are available since it's uh, but we do not have information about it that they are available you know and the, the the people who has them available does not have information about me who i need them to be available this is a very it's a logistics of information period and resources with logistical resources typical car usage for you and me and anybody else who don't have car right now, I know uh, I've been visiting you in, in Philippines right now, so we'd ride the bikes. But uh, for typical car user uses his, his, his car uh, maybe 30 minutes or hour a day, typical. You know, I'm yeah. using 15 minutes a day, and I do have to have a car 24 hours, 7, to use 15 minutes a day. You know, so it's a... It's over utilization of the resources just to think that it's mine. You know, it's a, a silly mindset that uh, I, I like that. Uh, and that would be bad in long run. It should be bad for the market, my opinion. Bad for the market right. because you're going to use utilities. Nobody needs those cars. When you realize and get it uh, that, yeah, I can get the car anytime I want. I can pay five times cheaper because in some kind of pool of sharing on the five times or ten times. I don't know what the scheme they or, or uh, you know, uh, logic they will present the four. Anybody, but anybody uh, owns it should the be car. bad for the economy. Many, <laughs> less, <laughs> you need less stuff to be produced to use, you know. Um, yeah, exactly. To use exactly, it, uh, exactly. Any and anybody who has, you know, just like your car um, that you use 15 minutes a day, any time you'd rent it would just be gravy. You know, I mean, like it, it's, it's like any price you rented it at. You know, as long as you're comfortable with the risk of, you know, maybe a guy with dreadlocks gets it that's that's stoned. I don't know. That's a that's a whole different ballgame. But you know, most of the time, quantifying the risk and uh, just you know, basically saying, hey, I'll I'll pocket the money. Um, it, what's interesting to me, um, you know, a lot of hotels or even car leasing companies, whatever, they've got a lot of regulatory overhead they've got to deal with. I have no idea, you know, what the, you know, the the, the person on the Airbnb network or, you know, the the whatever lease your vehicle at your own leisure network, whatever. I, I guess. Airbnb has that regulatory overhead built into their spreads, I would assume. But it's, it's not like the regulatory overhead could just go away. And, you know, the state and the federal government's going to always try to get their money. So have to, I don't even know if they've caught up to this on that level yet. But uh, it's, a, it's a very big, you know, price competitive edge, just like you're talking about. Um, 
in the long run, what's it going to do? It's going to, well, it's going to bring prices down in the short run um, because the hotels basically have to, you know, play ball. Um, but, you know, what does it do in the long run? It's, it's probably going to put some people out of work. Um, I think so, I think over here, uh, continuing your 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 thoughts here, um, picking up on you know, where you just uh -huh. left. I think uh, Airbnb has a lots of potential comp competition to to compete here because what they deal there, they deal there with the information uh, real estate. What the hotels deal, they deal with the real real estate. They have to build this stuff in order to sell it. Uh, Airbnb has to just know about it. In order to sell it, so I think uh, they, I think they take about 20% of the trans on transaction, so I think they have plenty of of, of uh, room for the, you know, to cover the cost and the occasional, uh, occasional uh, like breakdowns into the or or, you know, some some breaks or some steals or some some something like right. that. So I think they're very competitive uh, versus. But I, uh, what I like most of it is that it's available. You're not relying. Um, you're not relying to the to the. Uh, some hotel seriously you you come into the place and you don't have where to stay you are kind of panicking oh jesus no all hotels are busy here you have alternative definitely and alternative they, and they price all their prices price and uh, they know you're looking <laughs> what did you say i said i said even and they've doubled all their prices because they know you're looking <laughs> yeah if, it's if, big if, competition if, in, in moscow right if if, if if yeah if hotels are hotel rooms are scarce they seem to yeah, all what, know that. What, it's yeah, like they're, what, they're, they're wired in, so they, they start doubling what, what their prices. Yeah, what Airbnb created, John, what Airbnb created is a just simple uh, simple exchange of the real estate exchange. Hey, you need it, you right. got it. Short term, yeah, long term, please, you know, come talk to me. It's an exchange. That's what they created right. right there. And the uh, same would be the, with the cars, you know, there's exchange of the cars. Who needs it? Who has it? You know, it's supply demand. Right. And uh, it's always what, been oversupply. Yeah, go ahead. No, I'll tell you what, it's interesting. We could talk about that for hours. Um, let's let's get into uh, talking about inflation and deflation, I guess. Let's get into talking of, in some sort of way. Let's get, let's get into talking about gold a little bit here. Um, you know, you know I, yeah, I've been talking about this thing starting to look a lot more bearish. Uh, we were getting short on the automated systems below 1196 we took some off around 1177 um, trying to get into that neighborhood of the 1172 area down below here on the unfair lows or excuse me 1171 um, you know did a little bit of a dead cap bounce off of that inflection point excuse me Eddie but what you know it, we're below weekly profiles this is the August contract um, I've got it on the screen right now, 1187. Now we're kind of sitting and compressing, building cars, as Tom would like to say, um, around this 1171 area. You think we're going to just kind of pierce this and be off to the races on the downside? Uh, I, I, I seriously am looking at it myself as, as a something that wants to con consolidate down here and possibly make a, another leg down. What's, what's your thoughts on it? First thoughts right there. We do have, we do have, uh, of course, as you get, you, you, you cannot deny uh, multiple close below futures. Uh, uh, what's the September profile we have you running here? September. This is August. This is August. August. And, uh, August. Okay. I'm so on as the far as August. Mm -hmm. So yeah. as far as the future contract, definitely there is a consolidation below the profile, in, uh, below weekly profile. And uh, but what I noticed, uh, you know, guys, uh, John, as I do, charts has memory. But investing models has memory. So we use if we use a historic box, historic uh, profile, market profile, you see the little uh, potential support area a little bit below the the current profile levels, just recent lows, and that's what I'm using. It's a uh, heavy. This market is heavy in order to to go long on it. You you write you write about that on the daily profile. Uh, I would say I would try to go long here. I would try to go long here, speculative way, but I would like to go long here with a lower delta. What that means? I would select a strike price as a top of the profile and buy calls. They're cheap right now. I tried that yesterday. It worked. This bounce, first bounce, it worked. We tried. We we done that. This trade, we made a little bit of money. 
We pay, we paid for the nine, uh, 1,900 uh, strike price calls. We paid 60, 15 dollars. We sold them for 16 dollars. We saw it's nothing is going. Uh, so we made a little bit of money. We, we got out on highs. That's what I would do. But market is definitely heavy, and if it breaks dailies, uh, off we go. See, see ya. You know, uh, get ready for the for the right. Uh, fasten up, buckle up your belts, and off we go. Yeah. As, as I can see in the short term, right there. On a, the week, uh, on a 60 minutes, it's already negative right there. To 40, it's kind of balanced. So uh, um, I, I would agree with you on there. This this market is is heavy. Uh, I was kind of positive, very look uh, good, good, uh, ready to go long when the market closed the uh, previous week inside of profile. But uh, okay, no no yeah, cigar for this one. Fundamentally, too, I think you've got a little bit of a kind of a boost here from the fundamental side it's like you know kind of had a little bit of a scare there on the upside the grease you know information it seemingly should be a little bit more fear in the marketplace when it comes to gold with uh you know a, a country basically going to have to go bankrupt i mean is basically what's going to happen um or declare in, in some sort of way this, uh, bankruptcy. You, John, this particular, that, this particular yeah. unit, this particular instrument, it's not deliverable, so it's detached from period from the demand, supplier demand, real gold. It probably reflects a little bit of that, but it's a pure speculative product run by Big Brother. You know that, so you know, yeah. if you if you don't get deliver contracts, I think they're available on uh, on Hong Kong markets. Okay, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I just stopped okay. talking okay. right now. Okay. My my okay. my my little people are coming from the you know from the school. Gotcha, gotcha, and, uh, gotcha, gotcha. I have a triplet, so I, I, no, you cannot talk here. I <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, John. I understand. I tell you, I tell you what, uh, since you're going to get preoccupied there, and I know it's a, it's uh, you're getting getting going here uh, over there in Spain today. Um, I tell you what, thanks for joining us today, and uh. We'll pick it up uh, soon enough. Hey, thanks for having me, John. Enjoy, right. enjoy yep. your uh, being on your show as usual. Take care, man. Okay, okay, buddy. Bye, bye. Thanks. We're gonna uh, last minute here before the before the last break. We're gonna just kind of take a couple of couple of looks at some other things going on here. U.S. dollar. Uh, you know, uh, ninety five thirty. I'm still a big fan of putting stops down below there and trying to stay along the U.S. dollar. Um, you know this unsettling situation with the uh, European Union and Greece is, is just seemingly going to come to a head here, and we'll make it a little bit of another pop on the dollar. Um, if you hadn't been watching the first part of the show, twenty one hundred five U.S. S and P futures right now. Still a big fan of shorting below twenty one hundred four, twenty one hundred three on the September contract. Reason being. Going to try to continue to pay attention to our breath numbers here, looking at the S&Ps, rollover. Hopefully this weekly will turn negative. Then we'll have all four time frames, negative breath, not a good sign to be trading above profiles here weekly and daily. And we really, really could have a whoosh sound type scenario getting back down below 21 and 3 and maybe start just drifting into the balanced area and floating around down here trying to hit some new lows. Guys, we'll be right back. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades 
open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. Catch Larry Pesavento, a 40-year veteran trader. He uses pattern recognition, Gartley's, Butterflies, ABCs, and Fibonacci in order to trade these markets. Trade what you see next on TFNN. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. Um, you know, I'm kind of starting to wonder what kind of you know, default crisis, fear, whatever you want to call it, is, is in the uh, regulators looking at some of these J.P. Morgan newest scheme uncoverings, whatever you want to call it. It's like they're they're terrified of that bank. I mean, okay, I'm Jamie Dimon, who's got the Teflon sheen all over him, seemingly. And he's the darling of the banking world still for it's you know whatever it's, he's the guy at the helm and he's the guy who needs to get penalized right that's the way it works you want to make the big bucks you take the responsibility but okay let's let's cook up a scheme where we rip people off for 30 40 billion dollars and let's pay a fine for 10. let me do the math there yep that works out I'm just kind of getting sick of hearing all the new things that are coming out. I mean, and, and you know, and then you look at the stock price. 
looking at JP Morgan, got it up in the den right now. Um, this is the weekly, folks. Mm, no big deal. I think their business model everybody loves. Let's do something criminal and uh, let's just pay the fine. So 68.68, uh, if we can break there, you might have some short opportunities down to 66.54. Uh, that's about it for this company. As you've you got better shorts out there, no matter what type of incriminating news they'll come out with on J.P. Morgan, might want to stay away from the short side. Let's take a look at Netflix. Uh, we're going to keep showing this one because it's kind of all over the news. And as soon as they just declare that they love the business model, split, 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 you know, uh, and everybody's saying, "Oh God, it's going to." double again and blah blah that's 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 when you really got to watch out so we had a little bit of a key reversal yesterday back basically lower than before that news came out so that's that's really really damning when it comes to netflix and let's just look at the 240 situation so short-term trading uh pre-market 670 um you've got some leverage here stops about 680 38 Again, you want to kind of play with fire a little bit. We could retrace back down into, again, make sure you put your stops in on this one. I love the action yesterday. We could retrace back down into 646, 647. That would be about a 30-point ride down there. And, um, you know, like I said, I love the action yesterday, and it could be, could be time to look at this for the riskier type situation. Um, you got to put some kind of risk in your portfolio. I wouldn't put a lot of shares into this. Don't bet the farm on it. But uh, I love the action yesterday. Scanner picked that out. I was looking at 240 breaks. Um, it's kind of weird. I was like, Netflix, what the heck is that thing going there? All right. Okay. We're going to take a look at another stock. I want to look at Gilead. I didn't type that in right. Gilead Sciences. This is one uh, Eric Courtney's darling stock. And uh, just, again, just nothing seems to have stand in the way of this one and and the good news is is you don't short it there's no reasons um things on their highs go higher uh here's the 240 situation another box appearing nothing standing in the way of gilead sciences i uh, want to thank eddie for coming on today I always provide some great insightful information in my opinion and i uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the show stay tuned larry pezzavento is next and we'll pick it back up again tomorrow guys Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, the opening call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.